Scott wasn't alone in wanting a home win at Cyan Park. He faced fierce competition from one of the best known names in British show jumping. The Whitakers are one of the most successful sporting dynasties, and with five of them competing in London, they would take some beating. I started internationally when I was 17, so that's 40 odd years. It must have been about 10 years of my life. I'm 26 now, so 20 years. All my life, really. Um, obviously, born into it. I've been in show jumping probably uh, 50 years. It's unusual that everybody does it. You know, more or less everybody. They've been going to show since they were born. The biggest problem finding horses for all is that. <laughs> so how is it that so many of them have found their way into show jumping? There's definitely something there, you know, because I've got nephews and cousins and brothers, you know, so there's got to be something in the, in the genes. I was interested. My mother was really keen, so she encouraged me, and then the, my other three brothers carried on. Like John's five years older than me, and then Stephen was in the middle. Uh, so by the time I came along, there was uh, ponies and horses around, you know, so it was just a natural thing for me to do. They used to be on television, you know, after the news at nine o'clock, and uh, we used to be able to stay up and watch it, and, and, that, and the next morning I get, we'd get our ponies out and practice. You know, I did cross my mind to go into racing at one point, because I'd be the right sort of build and size and weight, but then I got a good horse when I was about 16, and that was it. <laughs> The youngest Whitaker, Jack, is only 13, but already reaping success in the two-star class and following firmly in his father's footsteps. I've kind of been around it all my life and it's been part of my life since I was little, so I think that's why I came into show jumping and like, like it so much. Yeah, Jack, he's a fair bit younger, but he's pretty confident with himself. I do get, obviously give him advice at the moment. You know, he seems to be riding really well, so I just leave him to it a little bit, you know. He's got Michael anyway, so he's in good hands and he rides really well. He seems really cool and um, calm when he's riding. I always say just keep trying and working hard and don't give up. At 59 years old, John may be the eldest, but he's still very much at the top of his game. But does this make him the best rider in the family? Who's the best? Ah, I, uh... <laughs> Out of the whole dynasty, the best show jumper, that's, that's a difficult one. I don't know, because the best one might not have, have had the best chances or the best all, so... The best one, me. <laughs> if you go through results, maybe probably John at the moment. Well, it'd have to be John or Michael. They've won the most, so <laughs> until one of us wins more than them. My dad and Michael, you know, they're, they're very, very close together. Um, they're, both, they're both very good. Well, John's won the most, <laughs> so I suppose he must be the best. <laughs> I think I've been very lucky, you know, I've found good horses, got a good family. I'm nearly 60 and I can I jump against 17 and 19 year olds, you know, and I, I, on the day I can beat them. The jumping is what, what I like. <laughs>